Hi, this is Matt Dimitrishin of Telemus Capital with the Week in Review for the week ending December 6th of 2019. There was mixed results on Wall Street as both the S&P 500 and Russell 2000 garnered positive gains on the week, while the Dow Jones Industrial Average and NASDAQ Composite were both down slightly. The week began on a down note as the S&P 500 dropped 2.3% in its first two trading sessions, weaker than expected manufacturing data and a statement by President Trump that he's okay with a trade deal being pushed out until after the election drove the downturn. Risk appetites reemerged after it was indicated a trade deal might be near. This is further buoyed by a very strong jobs report on Friday. Non-farm payrolls climbed by 266,000 jobs, well ahead of expectations. The unemployment remains at a stellar 3.5%. Within the S&P 500, the sectors that's leading the way included energy, consumer staples, and healthcare, while industrial, consumer discretionary, and technology sectors finished slightly lower. In fixed income, U.S. Treasuries had big swings intra-week, but finished close to where they started. The two-year Treasury yield increased by two basis points to close out the week at 1.63%, while the 10-year Treasury yield was up one basis point. The dollar fell 0.6% on the week, while oil climbed a stellar 7.3% to close above $59 a barrel. The gains were driven by OPEC's agreement to cut production by 500,000 barrels per day beginning in the first quarter of 2020. As we look at the week ahead, the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee meets and will announce their interest rate decision on Wednesday. At this point in time, it is widely recognized that the Fed will, is unlikely to change its interest rate stance. In addition, on Friday, November retail sales data will be released. Outside of the U.S., all eyes will be on the U.K. as they have their upcoming election on Thursday. That concludes the week interview for the week ending December 6th of 2019. Thanks and enjoy your week.